So now that the doors are fitted snugly, yeah. this benefits the operator because you're not getting snow coming through the door no. either, right? There should have been a little bit of curved metal here. Yeah. Out about an inch, eh? welded. Okay. So when the snow was coming off the cleat, it doesn't come in between the door. It, it'll blow out the other side because the snow and the slush gets in there. Eh? Yeah. But uh, That's just... if they didn't order it, I don't do it. Okay. If it was mine, I would do it. Okay, so you've done that in the past then? Yeah. And how much time would that have taken you to do? Well, you've got to get a chunk of one inch thick flat iron. You've got to shape it. You've got to grind that off, tack it, weld it, and you're done. Okay. Paint it, prime it, paint it. <coughs> but you can't go overboard because it doesn't fit the budget. budget eh? Yeah. You just do what they tell you and that's it. What did you do though to make life easier for you out in the field when you were using bombardiers up north building Winter Road? Start there, it service it right to that end. Yeah. Whatever it needed, it got. And uh, new weather stripping, a guard like that. Engine, whatever it needed, you give it. And if it needed a new rad, you got it record about every four or five years. And go. You don't have trouble then. All you gotta do is grease it and change oil. Okay. <coughs> so you never had to deal with breakdowns then, Nothing. 300 miles back in the bush when you needed your piece of equipment because you fixed it before you left. I had less trouble up there in the winter than some of these guys have in the weekend. Okay. See, the, they'll bugger that that ski axle, eh? Yeah. And that has a grease nipple in so that the bearing get grease so they'll screw it up and then put a bolt in yeah well guess what you can't grease a bolt eh yeah then the bearing stole okay the eye goes. so on, on, on. for the sake of a five minute fix or uh or, or putting in the right parts they got problems down the road yeah uh, it pays to put them in first class shape right off the bat bite the bullet yeah and then after that for four or five years is just maintenance. All depends on how many miles you're going. Yeah. Like most of these fishermen are never more than 10 miles from shore. So what the hell is there to wear out for it? Under shouldn't machine should last 10 years with yeah. just adjustment and greasing and oil changes. But the preventative maintenance, it pays off, right? Yeah. Like it's, you're not dealing with, Machines but, uh, breaking down, days or even weeks being in the shop, and the original cost is heavy, but after that it's just maintenance. Otherwise, you're patching and patching and patching uh, until you get it all completely done. Yeah, then your time to retire, right? Don't set your goal too high because you might live until ninety. So <laughs> fix it good. Okay. So does this work get any easier at the age of 80 or? Oh, I love it, but uh, I, I don't like shit like this here where they converted a perfectly good engine over to electronic. That's all electronic, rather than a carburetor and a fuel pump. Okay. Because if they have trouble, electronically or whatever, they haven't got a clue where to look. Yeah. It, of course, eight or ten miles from shore, they're going to always pull it home and phone the backyard mechanic. Okay, well, there's... Uh, That's pretty well it for today. Yeah, well, like, comment, subscribe. Those likes and comments and subscriptions help our channel and help Dad. He loves watching all the activity on the channel. And and as far as pointers go, I got a neighbor. He wasn't walking too good. And uh, he, so he's watching a lot of TV. And then he got into, into these pills where it's vegetables and uh, fruit. So he's taking them. And then next was some kind of a painkiller pill. You see it advertised on TV. 
And then uh, he seen another one there about the prostate pill. He took them. Now he's just stepping lightly. He, whatever it was helped him. Could yeah. have been the garlic, but he thinks it's one of those three or four pills. Okay. So anybody is getting dragged down, you try those pills or a little gar a little garlic. Okay. There you go. 80-year-old wisdom right there. <laughs> I want to see what the boys think of that.